What's up guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Uh, I got a quick tutorial for today. I'm going to show you how to reverse audio in Logic Pro 10. So here I got a little vocal sample here. Only one, only one that you love, love, you love, love. And let's say I want to reverse that for whatever reason. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is, if you actually, if you just got Logic Pro 10, you're going to want to do this. Preferences, Audio, Advanced, and make sure all of these are on. You just hit Enable All, because these are all your advanced tools that are normally in Logic 9. But for some reason, when I just got Logic Pro 10, these were all shut off, and it felt like GarageBand, and I was like, what the hell? All right, and that's the, you won't be able to reverse without doing this. So, so what you're going to want to do is right-click your audio sample and hit Bounce in Place new track destination okay and what bounce in place does is copies this region to a new track and the reason you want to do this before you reverse audio is because if you just do it on here it will actually reverse your original file instead of making a new one so you want to make a new one you could delete the old one and you're going to want to double click this should bring up a menu down there it says file and track make sure it's on file and then functions reverse now we have seems simple enough but uh there's little weird things you know like the thing in the beginning where you have to turn on all the advanced features um and then make sure you duplicate pieces before you reverse them all right guys that's it for tonight uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely hit me in the comments if you have any questions in regards to this tutorial or tutorials that you guys might want to see. Alright, peace. Boom.